Oh yeah, it's Wednesday. It's your day it is. It's your day it is. What day is it? Hey, what day is it? It's hump day. For me, it's kind of like Thursday because I I work tomorrow and then I'm off on Friday. been a while since I have gotten since I got approved for so many um, uh, Fridays off in a row it was like really scattered there or not approved for a long time and I'm just really happy about it and so like you know it's just a really cool thing and also like you know I just really am ex just glad about it, you know? Well, I know where the flies are coming from. All right, I'm gonna have to clean this thing out this weekend. On Friday. Good morning, Herbster. Hey. Oh, yeah. So, clean that out. Oh my god, I really gotta pee. I woke up before Russ's alarm um, because I really have to pee. Like, I gotta pee so bad. I, why do I look so pale? I'm not this pale. Come on. Come on. Hold on. So... Um, no, I just really got to pee. I don't have anything else to say. Well, JJ has to poop, so I'm going to let JJ go poop, and then I'm going to go pee. Okay. You better believe that the schools are closed today. It is currently a wind chill of negative 48 degrees. Yeah, so negative 48 wind chill, and today it's supposed to feel like negative 20 something or other. I forgot what she said. Um, yeah, so that's fun. I don't even know what the temperature is. Alexa! What's the temperature right now? Right now, it's minus 24 degrees. It's minus 24. Today, expect a high of minus 12. And a high of minus 12. It's currently minus 24. A high of minus 12. I'm really sick of this weather. Just so sick of this weather. It's disgusting. Disgusting, I tell you. It's weather just, just, I just can't with this stupid weather. All right, I gotta make breakfast and do my. Oh, clean my lens. Okay. All right, phone. I'll clean my lens, phone, for a better view or picture. I'll clean my lens. I'll do whatever you tell me, phone. Yeah. Here you go, phone. How's that? Is that better, phone? Thanks, phone. I didn't get to do my hair because I ran out of time in my first break. And now it is lunchtime. It's like, I don't know what time it is, 12 something. Alexa, what time is it? It's 12, 14 p.m. 12, 14 p.m. Anyways, I'm really cold. Even though I'm inside, and my heat is set to 80. Yep, 80 degrees. 80 degrees. It's still cold because of the negative whatever it is outside. I have to pee, I'm gonna do my hair. I mean, JJ, it is freezing outside. You just went pee, you don't wanna come back inside? Oh, you gotta poop, okay. That's fine, she walked down to the end of the drive, end of the sidewalk, now she's back, pooping in her little area that Russ has dug out for her. Yes. Okay. There you go, JJ, come on in. All right, now, 
Oh, I don't, I'm not, I don't have time to make lunch. So that's fabulous. I'm going to go, well, I have like, I think I have like 10 minutes. If I don't have time to make anything because everything is frozen. Also, I think we're out of everything. Oh, you know what I can make? Oh, are we out of peanut butter? Oh, all right, cool. I can make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's what I will make for lunch. Okay, bye. Break. It's a break. Brr, 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 break. My hair looks wet. It's mostly dry. This part still not it's not wet. I don't know, it just feels like that. It feels like that. It looks like that. It feels like that. Oh, I'm hungry. Uh peanut butter and jelly sandwich didn't really do anything for me. No, I'm out of peanut butter. I could eat a can of tuna. I don't wanna, I want a can of tuna. Want a can of tuna, I don't want a can of tuna, I don't want a can of tuna, yeah. I got 15 minutes. I probably have like, maybe, maybe 10 minutes now. I went upstairs to see, to get my slippers. And they're not upstairs, they're down here. And so now I have them. I don't have them on yet. My feet are cold. Where did I put them? Oh, they're over there. I want chips. Do we have any chips? Chips would be great if we had chips. We don't have any chips. I could make rice. I don't even have time for rice. No time for rice. No time. No time. No time for anything. We don't have any rice. Why did he put this back? Is it empty? No. Put your Italian seasoning back. Thank you very much. This potato um, is sprouting. I am going to throw it away. It's probably rotten. I could grow my own potatoes. It's really easy to grow potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> Potatoes sprout their own, they have eyes. That's what those think when they start sprouting stuff. Those are eyes. Potatoes' eyes. They look creepy and weird. But once you have your potato it's sprouted those eyes, put it in the ground, plant it, and it will grow your potato plant. Potatoes are roots, and roots are underground. So. That is what happens. Potatoes. I found more bubble wrap downstairs. They took me off of written. Well, they took me and everybody else who was doing written off of written to cover phones. So now we've got call after calls, just like regular customer service, because of the negative whatever degrees it is right now, and people, and the wind chills, negative 30 something degrees right now. So it's, um, it looks nice, look. The sun is shining. It looks so deceiving. It's blue skies. So check this out. This weekend, or this weekend, this Saturday, I think, uh, is supposed to be 40s or something like that on Saturday. I'm pretty sure. Let me let me just find out for sure. Alexa, what's the weather like on Saturday? Weather alert for Madison. There's a wind chill warning in effect until Thursday, January 31st, oh. 10 a.m. Yeah, On was... Saturday, February 2nd, you'll see lots of clouds and can expect a high of 40 degrees yeah. and a low of 35 degrees. I said it was Saturday. Well, anyway, Friday is Saturday. What did it say? Whatever. You know what? Alexa's weird. 
and sometimes not always accurate. <sighs> oh, I almost fell over. That was fun. All right then. I'm gonna play with my bubble wrap and then I'm gonna go back to work. Next time you see me, it will be my 10 minute break. Okay, bye. I don't have time to make food. I have all that pasta in there. I can make the food in there. We have breakfast meat. Breakfast meat. Breakfast turkey sausage. It's not sausage. It's breakfast meat. That's exactly what it is. It's turkey, but it's flavored for breakfast sausage flavor. Look, it's right here. Oh, it is breakfast sausage. Turkey breakfast sausage. We do have like two fish fillets. When did I go shopping? Last month, I think it was. That was good. I had a one month. We could have had more if you know, we planned better, but we didn't. Uh, one month for the two of us spent less than two hundred dollars. I think that was a good. I think that was good. Yeah, I don't have anything to eat. I'm gonna have a can of pears. I'll eat a can of pears. <sighs> My short break. Short break. I need a fork. Need a fork for my short break. Fork for my short break. I got a fork. For my short break. All right, now I go back. Go back to my desk. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna head out on Friday. Hopefully, it's not too frigid. It said like 19 degrees, but Wisconsin weather changes so, so much. Like it's supposed to be in the 40s in Kenosha on Saturday, which is important to note because that's where I'm supposed to be. Uh, either Kenosha or we may treat we me. My stepdaughter and my niece are supposed to be hanging out. Hopefully she's fine with going down to Kenosha. And uh, we're gonna possibly make a trip to Gurney, Illinois, because that's where the big mall is at. And I think that would be fantastic. Oy! What would be even better is if um, Russ drives uh, because I don't want to and you know how but you know she might it, I mean it could be like a girls thing all like Russ can go Bass Pro shop is down there the big Bass Pro so I think that he would be yeah JJ stop it go lay down go lay down Go lay down. JJ. Go lay down. Naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty is what she is. Naughty, naughty. Anyways, so if Russ wants to go to the Bass Pro Shop down there, he can cut, he can drive. Um, you know, we'll pick up, I don't know if we're going to pick up Anna on Friday night or Saturday because it would be a kind of a pain in the butt quite honestly It'd be to go drive north to wherever it is she is New Glarus I believe and then drive back down way down to Kenosha which is like 45 minutes to an hour drive and if the weather is not cooperating 
it's gonna be even longer drive, which would suck. <sighs> Anyways, I guess we'll figure it out on Thursday what's happening on the weekend. So that's it. I will talk to you later. Bye. Good evening. It's like 6.22. It's 6.22 right now. I'm going to make some kind of pasta because that's all I have. So, if you want to learn how to make pasta, this is super easy. If you don't know how to cook anything at all, here's your pasta making skills 101. Get yourself a pot. I have this one. This type of pot is called a Dutch oven. I think. Get a pot. It doesn't matter what it is. You get a pot. You're gonna pill, pill. You're gonna fill it up with water. Not all the way. I usually fill it up about halfway. There are other ways to boil the noodles. Some people will put it in a frying pan or saucepan, frying pan, and they'll put like a cup of water in. But I think you can only do that if you're measuring the amount of pasta that you're, you know, cooking. I'm not measuring the amount of pasta that I'm making. So I put in, it's probably less than half. See, about that much. Now I like to put in some salt. In this case, I'll be using garlic salt, which will kind of flavor the water. I'll put in salt, but I will also put in cooking oil. There's salt. This will help the noodles not stick to each other. If you don't believe that's true, fine. Don't do it. All right. Not a lot. Probably a quarter cup. Alright. So then, here we go. Here we go. Pick your pasta. Today, I am going to pick some... Something because we don't have we have like this can of tomato sauce and then we have um, a couple cans of diced tomatoes. I have this one. Oh wait, I do have a bigger can. I'm gonna do this tomato sauce and or this tomato that can of tomato diced tomatoes and then this can of tomato sauce. Let's season it up. So you're making your own sauce. So anyways, I'm going to do, what kind of pasta am I going to do? I'm going to do, I want small bite-sized pastas. Let's do, let's do, why do I have so much rotini? I don't need this much rotini. Garden rotini, regular rotini. I have three boxes of regular rotini. Two boxes of elbow. We're doing bow tie. We got bow tie pasta. We're gonna make this here. Bow tie. Bow tie pasta is named bow tie because it looks like bow ties. So then, once you, what the heck? Oh. <laughs> once you pick out your pasta, you're gonna you're gonna make sure your oven is on. That helps. I mean, you don't have to have your oven on to boil the water, but it helps. I am putting it on a medium high. We're gonna cover the pot. Cover the pot. Pot is covered. Now we will wait for the water to boil. All right, so the water is vigorously boiling. This is boiling boiling water. So once your water is boiling, you're going to open your box of, of uh, pasta that you have chosen. And then you put the pasta in the pot of boiling water. Just like this. Don't splash it in there. You'll get boiling water all over the place. You pour it, okay? Pour it in. 
Take your spoon. I'm choosing a wooden spoon. We're gonna stir, 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 stir. Okay, stirring it up. Now it is stirred. Then I will put the cover back on, just slightly, like so. We will turn the heat down to about medium heat, medium heat. Now we're going to work on the sauce. I wish I had two hands for this, but my um, tripod is broken. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to open these two cans. These are handy cans because they have the pop top like that. I'm going to open the cans, both cans. They are 14.5 ounce cans. Yep, both of them are. I'm going to put them both in. This is a saucepan. Saucepans are small. See? Small pan. Pot. It's a pot. Sauce pot. Saucepan. Whatever. Put your cans of tomato sauce in the tomato, in the tomato, in the saucepan. So I will do that right now. Okay, so you put your sauce, put your tomatoes in the saucepan. Probably use a bigger pot. That's fine. So we're going to turn this on to medium heat. And we're going to let the tomato sauce and the chunky, and the tomato, oh that's the wrong one. And the tomatoes heat up. What we also would need to do, because tomatoes diced tomatoes and tomato sauce is not flavored, it's not seasoned, we're going to add seasonings. We're going to add garlic salt, Italian seasoning, any more? Uh, you know what? Not garlic salt. I'm going to add instead garlic herb, garlic and herb. So garlic and herb, Italian seasoning, um, some steak seasoning, and where is it? And minced onion. Those are what I'm going to put in my sauce. So, we're going to bring the tomatoes and the tomato sauce and the tomatoes to a uh, simmer. So simmer is when it is lightly, lightly bubbles on top, light bubbles on top. So once it's simmering, that's when we're going to add our spices. You flavor yours however you want. This is what I'm going to do. Since I need two hands, I'll do that. And I'll bring you back when I'm done. So while you're waiting for your sauce to heat up, you may notice that your pasta noodles may be done. This is how you test them. You got to eat one. But you don't want to take it right out of the pot. You're going to burn your mouth. So I put mine on the counter. Just one piece. Put my counter, my counter, my piece on the clean counter. It's cooled down. So now, eat it. It's not soft enough. So, they're not done. Alright, so here we go. See, this is um, soft boils. That's simmering. So, now we're going to add so, uh, seasoning. I'm going to take this off of the heat and just maneuver it over here. I will start with my minced onion because minced onion is basically just dehydrated onion. And you want it to kind of get undehydrated, so you're going to put that in your liquid first. Minced onion. I like a lot of onion, so there's my minced onion. Put that in there. Stir it up. Don't stir too fast or you'll spill. 
mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Good. All right, so then I will put in steak seasoning. Make sure I open the right side. Shake, 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 shake. Steak seasoning is salty. So we don't have to add more salt. Tomatoes, canned tomato sauce and tomatoes are salty to begin with. So they're not super salty, but they're salty enough. Anyways, put that seasoning, steak seasoning in there. Mix that up. All right. So then I will put in garlic herb seasoning. Chick, 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 chick. Each of these probably, probably half a teaspoon. Probably. It depends on how much sauce you're making. This could be a quarter teaspoon. I don't even know. I'm not measuring it. I'm just going by smell and sight. That's how I cook things. Smell it. If it needs something, I can smell. If I smell the, the sauce, and then I'll smell my ingredient that I'm going to add and your nose and your taste buds in the back of your throat will be able to tell that yes this is a good thing no it's not a good thing so I'm going to take seasoning this needs a lot of Italian seasoning okay like a lot see put a lot in it oh let's mix that up mix it up You'll want to put this back on the burner to simmer some more um, to just get all those flavors incorporated together. That's what that'll do. So I'm um, just stirring, mixing up. See, I'm not, I'm stirring gently, kind of just pushing it around because if you do this, it's going to go flying all over the place. And you don't want that because that's just a big mess you got to clean up later. And now we put that back on the burner, again on medium. Um, now our pasta noodles should be done. Let's just take one out and see. Take it out. Just here. Hot noodle, hot noodle. Hot noodle, yes. Should be done now. Yes. These pasta noodles are done. Turn off the pot. Turn it off. You should have in your in your sink this device called a strainer. If you don't have a strainer, get one. I don't know what to tell you. So you take your pot and move it to the strainer and you're going to dump the noodles and the water in the strainer. The noodles will stay in the strainer, the water will go in the sink. So again, two hands, be right back. Alright, so pasta in the strainer, it's strained. I like to give my pot and noodles a little shake, get any extra water out not that much water, whatever. And you're gonna put the noodles back into the pot. Pot is still hot, but that's okay. Hot pot, hot pot. So now, my uh, tomato sauce should be ready. But for now, right now, I'm going to sample it. It's hot. We're gonna turn this off. We're gonna sample the sauce. Smell it. Smells like tomato sauce. It looks like tomato sauce. And tastes like tomato sauce. A bit salty. But like I said, there's just salt in like this it's salt in everything. So most people they will serve their pasta and then they'll put the sauce on top of the pasta and then eat it that way. You're gonna mix it up anyhow. And why waste a dish? So I'm gonna dump my sauce right in the pot with the noodles, just like that. 
It's a lot of sauce. Yes, yes, it is a lot of sauce. But that's all right. So we're going to mix, mix, mix. Just get it all mixed, mix, mix. See how lovely that looks? Yes. Tomato-y, tomato sauce and noodles. Okay, so that's it. You know, you got your sauce, you got your noodles, your... That's it. That's all. You can include meat if you wanted to. You can brown. You could have browned some turkey or beef uh, and put that in your sauce if you wanted to. And you have a meaty sauce. I'm out of meat, so I didn't do that. Um, yeah, so there we go. Russ gets paid on Friday, so I'm going to go grocery shopping again. I'm not going to spend $200 this time. I think I'm just going to get some basic stuff. To hopefully, will um, hold us over for a while. Uh, I'm just going to go to Aldi, or not Aldi's, go to Walmart, because my Aldi's experience was... <sighs> This wasn't so good. So, supper's ready. Time to eat. Talk to you later. Bye. It's like nine or something. Alexa, what time is it? It's 8.57 p.m. Oh, yeah, see, it's about nine. I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, Sophia Nygar. Did Nygar, Nygard, I don't know, whatever, on YouTube, uh, did her hand at an ASMR video. Second half of her video is basically ASMR. She's doing that right now. And, um, I know it's supposed to be very relaxing for a lot of people. Some people, if they don't like the noises. I personally, doesn't affect me really. But I guess Bob Ross is kind of a, a, an unintentional ASMR videos because of the brush strokes and the sounds that his brushes make and his voice alone being very soothing, calming and relaxing and stuff. And so um, I can see, I can understand that. I always fall asleep to Bob Ross, just, you know, he's relaxing. So it's freezing. It's not freezing. It's very cold in this house. The heat has been running and running and running because it's cold outside. It's just very cold. Very, very cold. And I can't wait for this weekend for it to warm up a bit. That'll be very nice. So, I gotta, I gotta get a hold of uh, Anna, Russ's daughter. Tomorrow, figure out, um, am I going to her? Am I meeting halfway? Is she coming here? So on and so forth. So, uh, we figure it out. All right. On that note, have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Toodles.